Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to make a sample rate timer. You're going to use this anytime you want to do something in a specific time interval. We're going to start in a new Studio 5000 program and we're going to go to our timer counter tab and bring down a TON. And I'm going to call mine sample rate. Then let's right click new and create. And I'm going to give it a preset of 1000. And then in front of it, we're going to bring down an examine off instruction. And this will be sample rate dot DN. And let's go ahead and download this. And if you need any help downloading your program or configuring drivers or any of that, just look down in the description. We have lessons on all of that. Then put your controller back in run mode. And right away, we kind of see this timer just dancing around like crazy. And you're like, I'm not sure this is doing what I want. Well, it actually is. And what you're seeing here in this jumping number is the sample rate of Studio 5000 to our PLC. So let's add another rung just so we can see exactly what's going on. We're going to bring down a counter. We'll use a CTU. And we're going to use the same sample rate done. We're going to go and bring down and examine on instruction for the sample rate. And I'm just going to call this my index because this number is going to index every time the sample is done. So we'll right click new create and don't even worry about putting a preset in. We're going to go ahead and put that in and you're going to see that every second this is going to increment up. Next, we'll talk about how to turn this into a flash on, flash off timer like you would see for indicating a light or many other things. Check that video out here. Till next time.